Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and greetings to all. So today we from group 4 we present about our lab report on experiment 1 which is Marshat Boiler. Our group consists of me myself Nur Amira binti Zamroz, Nasrin Aina, Nur Diana, Nur Alazim and Muhammad Fizri Azim. So Proceeding with our lab report, the objective of this experiment is to study the relationship between the pressure and the temperature for saturated steam. Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Noor Diana Binti Abrahman and I will be explaining about the theory of this experiment. There are several elements that consist in this experiment. One of the main elements is thermodynamics. Thermodynamics is the study of how heat and work are exchanged between a system and its surroundings while it goes through a process. Changes in the properties of fluids are also a topic in the thermodynamics, where as we know that PVT substances are commonly used to refer to most thermodynamic substances such as gases and vapors. Next, the temperature at which a pure substance changes phase at a certain pressure is known as the saturation temperature, which is Tz. Similarly, the saturation pressure, Pz, is the pressure at which a pure substance changes phase at a given temperature. And lastly, the relationship between the saturation temperature and the equivalent pressure for water is investigated in this experiment. The electrical resistance heats the water inside the boiler, causing it to evaporate. More vapor builds inside the boiler vessel as more water changes phase from liquid to vapor, which increase the pressure imposed on the water surface. As liquid molecules transform into vapor, this pressure accumulation tends to increase the resistance they need, raising the saturation pressure of the remaining liquid. The clever relationship relates the pressure, heat and expansion during a phase change for a pure substance that exists as a mixture of two phases. Assuming that the two phases are in equilibrium, as we can see in the slide, the Clapeyron equation is as follow, where T times with Vfg divide with Hfg, and we can simplify with T times with the subtraction of Vg and Vf. And also, we can use the equation of heat of domain of vaporization where HFG is equal to enthalpy of fluid minus with enthalpy of steam. Hi, my name is Nora Lazim ben from I'm from the group 4. So now I will explain about the apparatus and procedure in the master boiler experiment. So we go first for apparatus. Uh, in the master boiler, we have 10 of it. The first one it contains a pressure transducer which help convert the pressure to the uh, analog electric signal. Second one is uh, we have temperature reader we located the temperature in the heater. Third one pressure indicator for control panel which is contain switch uh, main switch and green switch. Then bench will accommodate the master boiler. Then the sixth one we have pressure gauge that show the pressure in the heater. Seven we have temperature sensor, sensor, then overflow valve. Nine water inlet where we need to put uh, some uh, put some water in it. Then ten we have the heater to help the water boil in the in it in the master boiler. So. We move to the procedure. First one, we need to open the filler plug with the spanner. And second one, we need to open the overflow valve. Okay. When the, uh, the two is open, fill the water from the overflow valve. Uh, sorry. Uh, fill the water from the filler plug uh, until the water overflow in the overflow valve. Once the overflow the water overflow in the overflow valve. Uh, we need to close the filler plug and tighten it. Okay, once the, uh, we have to tighten it, switch on the uh, the switch in uh, the control panel which contain the main and green switch. Then uh, once the temperature 
reach the in range 97 uh, until 100 degrees Celsius uh, close the overflow valve then uh, the temperature uh, each increment of temperature uh, will need to record starting from the 0.5 bar until the 5 bar the last step is the once the uh, the until the pressure come to 5 bar switch off the heater and every temperature decreasing at the 0 0.5 bar need to be recorded that's all all data will be recorded in the table one below hi assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh my name is mohd izrazim ismail i am from group 4 and i'll be explaining about the raw data and analysis of experiment one mustard boiler okay on my left side this is the table full of parameters but we are not given all the values we are only given the values for gauge pressure in bar the steam temperature while the pressure increase and also while the pressure decrease and that's all we are needed to find the absolute pressure in bar the mean steam temperature in celsius the measured slope dt over dp and also the calculated slope tvg over hfg okay how do we find all this value okay for dt over dp we can see the calculation on our right side okay dt just mean the differential t at two bar the two bar is the absolute pressure and the temperature at t 2.0 will be minus with t 1.5 which is 118.35 minus the the temperature at the absolute pressure 1.51 so we got the value 8.7 celsius which can also be converted 8.7 kelvin it's just the same because we are finding the differential okay next for the dp 2.0 which just mean that we need to find the differential pressure at 2.0 minus the pressure at 1.5 hence we got 0 0.5 bar which need to be further converted into kilopascal so just times 100 kpa and then we got 50 kilopascal uh, on the bottom we can see the dt over dp value so we just divide uh, the value of dt that we gained earlier divided by the value of dp which is 50 kpa hence we got 0 0.174 k over kpa moving on to the next slide the result draw the graph of pressure p in bar versus temperature t in celsius for the heating and cooling process and determine the slope of the graph and as you can see on the left side is the graph of absolute pressure against increasing temperature all the values uh, are given in the data so uh, at 108.3 and 1.51 bar is the starting point and it ended at 153.2 at 6.01 bar on my right side is the graph of absolute pressure against decreasing temperature which started at 111 celsius at 1.51 bar and ended at 155 celsius at 6.01 bar my name is Ron Shaina and i'll be continuing for this part so the slope of tvg over hfg is calculated in this experiment by using formula where mean temperature multiplied by specific volume divided by heat domain of vaporization HFG where HFG is equal to the enthalpy of water HF minus the enthalpy of steam HG for each set of data. In this set of data, we have calculated the percentage error. For percentage error, uh, the slope calculated TVG over HFG minus measured slope divided by slope calculated times by 100. This step is repeated for every set of data. For the discussion part, the observation during the experiment conducted is discussed. This experiment is conducted to study the relationship between the pressure and temperature for saturated steam. Before the experiment started, the value of temperature of water was at room temperature and the value of pressure was zero. As the experiment started, the pressure and temperature increase 
This is due to the relation between temperature and pressure as temperature is directly to the pressure and it can directly be seen to the relation of pressure P versus temperature T. Concluding this experiment, which is mainly to study the relationship between the pressure and the temperature for saturated steam using Marshall boiler, we conclude that the pressure and the temperature is directly proportional to each other. And we also see the differences in between the theoretical values and actual values, which we believe occur because of some errors that might happen during the experiment. That's all from us. Thank you.